My name is Gabriel Frith. Oh, my name is Mel Rakiza. My name is Shifan. My name is Lisa Lopali. My name is Alec Labush. My name is Sarah Muhammad. And I can, I can, I can, I can change the world. I think that um, youth have a lot of capacity in today's world. I think they can use technology and they can use the writings and they can use the lessons they learn from their parents. And I think their, their capacity is very, very great. They're fresh to the world. They're not jaded by all kinds of crazy experiences. Youth are very underestimated. I believe that they have way more control um, than what people think that they do. I believe that they could actually lead us if the right youth were in order. When you start young and you get involved in, in service and understanding who you are and where, what your place is in the world and, and how you can change it and so forth. Well, as a youth myself, I feel like um, might be a little bit biased, but what I can say is that um, the amount of energy and spirit that youth have is very contagious and can have a huge effect on its environment. We gave them ideas, they followed through. We gave them jobs, they followed through. Not just followed through, but they followed through with excellence. We have free time to you know, reflect on the world and to figure out what we want to do with our life. We have the vitality and we have the energy and the drive to change this. They are actually the future government officials, Walmart executives, people like that, you know. I, I'm aware that I cannot change the world on my own, um, which is why I like being around youth that are, you know what I mean, really eager to work on um, towards the betterment of the world. I used to think that being in that place where not doing anything or not doing anything good is fine. I mean, there's other people that can do it. But when you take it into your own hands and you go out and you do something, it really affects you and everyone around you and it encourages other people to do the same. With that perspective, we can have community goals and um, fill them together in acts of service. Service I generally define as being just any incident where somebody helps somebody else. It takes you out of yourself and makes you think of others, which seems to be a skill set that's falling aside in this generation. When I do service, I I don't think of what I get out of it. I think of all the happiness and joy that the people I'm helping are getting out of it. Um, service is really something that you have to get into the habit of is extremely important and vital for the survival of our community. It is a lifelong learning experience, right? And I feel like it's not, we have to break away from this service as like just a, a 40 hour, a ser, like a 40 hour service hours that you have to complete for school. Like it's not something that should be required by someone else, but it should be something that we train ourselves to believe that we actually want to do. Either sweating and toiling or, or whatever. They're giving of themselves, so this becomes a lifetime habit. From you know, interactions that happen you know, on a day-to-day -day basis between neighbors and family members to um, like in big government institutions and, and corporations and businesses, if everybody within society was acting in an attitude of service, I think that the world would be an incredible place. I believe that it gives them empowerment, it allows them to grow, and it allows them to see the world with a different view. Service is important so that people understand that and it becomes part and parcel with everything that they do. It's not just one place. It is a worldwide event. No 
when they're able to feel their own importance, they're able to really get a focus on what they can contribute to the world. They find, in the process of junior youth, they find themselves and they redefine themselves, where they become truly useful members of society. I'm so excited about the conferences. The conferences are just so amazingly significant. Change the world. I think youth can change the world.